Good evening, YouTube. I am Ogie F. Rage is parked somewhere downstairs, and this is my review of the Go Clear Hydrophobic Lens Protector. Let's get this vlog started. Now, this is something I came across from one of my uh, followers on Instagram tagged me in a picture uploaded by this company. And what the product claims to do is to not allow drops of water to settle on your GoPro lens and kind of ruin the footage. What you're seeing right now is footage from uh, a GoPro case which does not have the lens protector installed on it. And you would notice that there are some droplets which are settling and staying there on the, on the lens. And that's something which most people who use a GoPro uh, face an issue with when they are either swimming or anywhere around water for that matter. The monsoons have started here in Mumbai. I decided to test uh, a set of these lens protectors myself just to see how much of a difference it actually makes to uh, the footage of the GoPro. So I'm going to go indoors now and continue this review. Stay with me. So we're going to go over a few things in this video. Firstly, we're going to talk about what you actually get in this uh, packaging from GoClear. Uh, we're then going to talk about the installation process onto a Hero 3 Plus Black Edition. And um, I'll then finally include a short clip of me riding through the reins here to kind of test this out in a real life situation. So firstly to talk about what's included in the packaging, you get this small microfiber kind of cloth which is used to wipe your GoPro lens clean. And I've ordered a pack of three, but you can order a single pack as well, or a single unit rather of the GoClear lens protectors um, and it would look something like this so let me just put this microfiber cloth down so you can actually see what the lens cover looks like here it is and since it's square shaped you'd notice that it um, would mostly fit a Hero 3 3 Plus, a Hero 4 and the standard GoPro Hero which was recently launched and the session of course because it's got a squared kind of lens cover now the tricky part of this installation process is you need to figure out which part is the front and which part is supposed to actually stick on to the lens and that's probably the most confusing part based on reviews I've seen easy way of doing it is just having a look at whether go clear is written correctly from left to right like it is over here because if you're holding it the other way around, then it'll look like that. If you can just focus, come on, focus, focus. There we go. Yeah. So if it looks like that, that means you're holding it the wrong way around. So if you want to, so if you want to install it, the first thing would be to peel off. There's about three layers within this. It's really hard to see. There's three layers within that. You'll have to peel off the back cover first and then stick it on to your Hero 3 or Hero 4 lens. And once you're done with that, you'll have to peel off the front part of it to expose the hydrophobic part of this unit. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's simple installation, it isn't rocket science, but somehow I managed to goof it up. So if you see the small section over here, that's a small air gap and unfortunately for me it doesn't really interfere in the video quality so it's out of the frame but I'm hoping it doesn't become a problem later on when I actually start using it in the rains and underwater. Now based on the reviews I've seen of this thing it works like a charm but I'd like to test it out myself and see how it works in Mumbai conditions.
I am just glad it finally rained here in Mumbai. I've been waiting to test out uh, the stock GoPro lens for a while now and haven't really had the opportunity to do so. But fortunately now it rained and I can test it. So I've also been getting a lot of messages from people saying, hey, is everything all right? Why have you not been uploading videos and stuff like that? Well, everything is fine. Uh, everything is hunky-dory, man. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, uh, you would know that I have started working at a new place. I no longer work in Malad. For those of you who managed to figure that out, I work somewhere else now. So you'd see videos popping out of a different location now. Um, also, I do have a social life, you know. I don't just sit down over the weekends and upload videos continuously. So I get out there, I hang out with friends, and since it's been raining in Mumbai now, I've been playing a lot of football too. So I've got a lot of other stuff keeping me busy. But yeah, don't don't worry about me. Everything's fine. It's just that I've got a lot of stuff going on right now, including getting stuck in traffic. Yeah, so in conclusion, I think overall uh, the lens protector does help. Uh, while it does help with the big drops of water, uh, there's still some tiny droplets which get left back, uh, which don't really affect the video quality as much as it would have normally done. But uh, it's, I, I guess there's no 100% solution to, to that problem. So is it worth buying? Of course it is. It, it'll help sort out most of the big droplet problems you'd have. But is it a 100% solution to the issue, especially when you're riding in rain? I guess not, but it's still worth a shot nevertheless. Anyway, thank you all for watching this uh, video review of mine. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and go ahead and check out some of my other videos. As always, ride safe. Wear your helmet. It's a freaking jungle out there. Goodbye.